if you're still not sure about your price, and I think you know, if you're not getting somebody else to soundboard this off, I think you should be unsure of your price uh, price increase. If you're going to go for a reasonable, link. don't go for you know three or five percent. That that you can do in your sleep. That's no problem. But you know, you don't want to go to your marketing you know, every time they ask you your price. It's like five percent higher, five percent higher, five percent higher. That doesn't do anyone any favors. You you get known for the guy who just keeps putting up their price. So what you want to look at doing. I'm Gordon De Silva, a business owner just like you, who has been in the trenches and come out the other side to own a business that delivers an incredible life and an incredible opportunity to help others. I've gone from working too hard, being stressed and unprepared for business life and the challenges it brings, to owning businesses that help me change clients' lives and gives me more freedom than I ever thought possible. And that never even existed as a daydream. I created the Talking Business with Gordon podcast to offer you simple, actionable, step-by-step strategies to help you do the same. If you are an ambitious business owner or just starting out on the journey, looking to create a business that creates an impact, but also a business that delivers the life you love, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. This week we're talking about pricing for profits and it's part four and we're at the strategy part. There's two elements to this. We're going to be covering the first strategy today. So let's get started. Series one, episode eight. Welcome to day four of profit, pricing for profit, day four. So (laughs) you can tell this is live when I cock up the introduction, can't you? So anyway, that is uh, is, uh, day four. And let's just recap where we've been. We, We demonstrated for a small increase, we can increase in price we can double our profits. That's right, a 20% increase in price could easily double your profits. Now, take that on board and begin to think what this could do for your life. What if your income, your profits from your business doubled today? What if for the next for the next year, your income was double what it was last year, the year before, the year before, the year before that, unless you've been doubling all the time without any help? So just think what that would do to your life. Think that would do, would, you know, what sort of holidays you could have if we were ever allowed out. Just think about you know, the home you could live in. Think about the car you would drive. Think about the time you'd be able to spend with your families. Because all about it's all about more important things than money. Money is just the a tool, and you can use it as you will. You can use it to buy more time to run your business even better. You can use it to buy advice. You can use it so you can go faster. You could use it to spend more time with your family. You could use it to buy a nicer house, whatever, right? Money is just a tool, and here is a way of improving your your the tool. You know, um, I'm a bit of a DIY um, enthusiast in as long as a power tool is involved. If I've got a power tool, I'm an enthusiast. If there's no power tool, if it's just hard work, I'm not interested. So... You know, I know that uh, traders, people who are in the trade and use the tools every day, get the best tools because it helps them go faster, helps them get the job better. That's what this can do for you. Okay, so we also covered the the uh, PCPOV. Do you remember that? We covered that uh, PCPOV. So uh, we covered all those those five little pieces that you must have in place if you're going to use this pricing for profit. So, you know, now you know what those five things are. Uh, I'm going to cover today the, the first strategy that you want to use. Now, the, the it's, you don't have to use this one first. You could use number two first. I'll cover that tomorrow, right? Number two will come tomorrow, number one today. Uh, but one of the things you really must have is these things in place. You've got to have your positioning in place, your confidence in place, your, your uh, pitch in place, your offer in place, your value in place. And I can't give you all of that over, a, you know, over a five minutes uh, Facebook Live. But if you want to look at my course, let me know and I'll and I'll tell you all about it and uh, send you some details about how the course is structured, how we work together over a period of three months to make sure that you can implement this pricing for profit and as a result, grab your share of doubling your income. Okay, so that's that's the, the, the offer. I just want to make sure I, I get that. I get that to you so I don't forget. So but I, would, when I, I don't want you to muck this up because you don't want to go for the for the products. I want to give you a little bit on on uh, confidence. How do you improve your confidence? Now, of course, if your positioning is better, your pitch is better, your offer is better, your confidence will automatically rise. But it may or may not. Uh, and 
usually it will because you've done so much work to improve those other four, your confidence will rise. But just in case you've got a money blockage like I used to have uh, when I used to, when I used to want to get proper value for my clients and as a result, proper value for me because it needed time to give the clients value. And uh, the more time I had, the better value, the better, better advice, the better I could, results I could get my clients. If you're stuck with that like I was, here's a little uh, a little um, tool that you could use to improve your confidence. And it's to do with how the brain works. In, in some respects, it's called um, price anchoring, right? And what price anchoring says is that when you're used to a higher price, a lower price sounds reasonable. So let, let me uh, let me give you an example. Uh, one of the, one of the guys used to work uh, at our house at, at DIY. He was actually a DIY guy. He was really good at doing the complex jobs without power tools that I wasn't prepared to do with some delicacy and accuracy. That's not me. And uh, he used to come in. He used to charge us a really low amount for his skill. It was a reasonable amount compared to the industry. It was average, but it was compared to his skill and speed. He, he didn't charge enough. And I said to him, look, you've got to charge more, even though he was going to charge me more. I said, you've got to charge more because he was a really nice, nice guy, like most people are. They're really nice people. They, they give away too much value and you couldn't see it. And he went and he said, well, no one will pay that. I go, well, I think they will. He goes, oh, you know, I feel a bit uncomfortable. So I said, here, do this, right? And uh, what we did, we picked a price that was double his, his normal rate per hour. And I said, for every question I ask you, just, just give me that double price. And uh, so I did that half a dozen times. You know, how much is it? How much is it? What? How much? How much do you charge per hour? And he kept giving me this double price. Now I said, you know, after doing this about a dozen times, I, I said, to him, the next time I ask you for the, for the price, I want you to give me 50% more than you're charging now. So it's less than you've just been saying, but higher than you have been charging. And I said, you know, how much do you charge? And he gave me this higher, 50% higher price. And I go, how do you feel about that? And he went, feels quite reasonable, right? I go, exactly. And it is for your skill and value you bring because you work fast, you do things right, you, you turn up on time, you're reliable, you, you treat the place with respect, you get the job done right first time, nobody has to call you back, it's worth that. And so that's what we did. So, so that's, that's a little trick that uh, definitely works. I've used it over, I don't know, maybe uh, 50 times with, with clients I've worked with. It just works. I don't, yeah, we don't need to know why, right? We just need to know it works. Anyway, strategy one is is this if you're still not sure about your price and i think you know if you're not getting somebody else to soundboard this off i think you should be unsure of your price uh, price increase if you're going to go for a reasonable link don't go for you know three or five percent that, that you can do in your sleep that's no problem but you know you don't want to go to your marketing you know, every time they ask you your price it's like five percent higher five percent higher five percent higher that doesn't do anyone any favors you, you get known for the guy who just keeps putting up their price so what you want to look at doing is is uh, strategy one is pitch it to new clients who don't know you from Adam, right? Go to your go with your new price to your new clients, and when you go to your new price, go to the new price with new clients, they don't know any different. You're, you've got a clean slate to talk to them about the price you have. So that's strategy one. So hopefully you've got the the uh, PCPOV. You've also got strategy one, and I've given you a little trick on the confidence that you could use. All right, that's it for me for today. Uh, um, you know, if you're interested in my pricing for profit uh, program that I want to develop, just let me know and I'll send you some details and I'll tell you how we work together to make sure that you can roll out this pricing for profit, you know, double your profits and uh, then re get rewarded for all the for the for the work you're really doing, either your skill set or your thinking or your ability to bring results to your customers. That's what that's what I I like I like um, my clients doing is bringing better results to their clients and getting rewarded for it adequately. All right, this is Gordon wishing you well. You take really good care of yourself, and I'll see you for the final day where we're going to cover strategy two, which is a beauty, and uh, and I'll see you then. All right, you take care. Goodbye. You have been listening to the Talking Business with Gordon podcast with Gordon De Silva. Next week. Next time we're going to be covering the second and final part of our strategy and the final part of our Pricing for Profits five-part series. So if you've been enjoying this series and getting some ideas on how you can increase your profits by using pricing as a strategy, here's another strategy for you. And I look forward to seeing you then. Take care. Thank you for listening to the Talking Business with Gordon podcast.